We got a question the other day from a guy asking us how we found a place to to park and stay for free um, if we were just taking our chance on no one noticing or throwing us away and we have to say that's not the case. These days we are in a small village I think called Birja in Spain at what appears to be a parking lot. Um, it's really nothing special. We had massive rain tonight so yeah we actually had a leak in the roof or by the window in the roof uh, that Melda fixed. Um, so as you can see this is nothing spec special uh, right now. Uh, I think in summer this is spectacular actually. Right now it's winter and even though we are in Spain and still wearing sandals the leaves have fallen off the trees and and it must be much prettier in summer check out these mountains up here they are absolutely gorgeous and they are almost all all the way around here but as i said we don't just park somewhere and hope for the best uh, we use an app called camper contact there are plenty of apps out there and some people prefer the app Park for Night, I know. But we've used Camper Contact ever since we began traveling and we really like it. You can filter out what you need uh, in the Camper Contact app and we'll link to it in the, in, in the uh, description for this video. But the most important thing we use when we are finding a place for the night is knowledge. Uh, we read about each country when we enter and what are their rules and, and the official rules to start with. And then there's also some local rules stating that they don't want people on the beach and such. And they might not be the official rules, but we would never dream of breaking uh, local routes either. We don't feel like parking somewhere where we're not welcome, even though uh, officially we might be welcome. Uh, we'd rather stay and be nice and orderly people uh, somewhere where we feel we're welcome. So that's how we find our uh, parking for the night or for a few days, like we've been here a few days. So, and Melda is fixing the horn again. Nah, he's just adjusting some horns that he got from my dad. Because obviously all boys need horns. Or maybe that's just Melda. Let me know in the comments if you support him or not. I think it's strange because we never hung at anyone. But that's it for now, and how we found parking, and how Melda is, I almost said he was very horny, but how he has a lot of horns.